we are playing Grimm's Hollow. This game was recommended to me by Ethan Plays on the Discord. Let us see if we can commit arson in three, a two, a one. There it is. I don't know much about this game's story beyond reaping souls or something like that and ghosts. We're going to find out together. So please kick back, relax, and enjoy Grimm's Hollow. Note, this game contains some discussions of grief and losing a loved one. Oh, we're familiar with that kind of theme on uh, this Twitch. Discretion is advised. Suitable for ages 13 and up. Wake up. Welcome, new Reaper. Oh, wow. It's a birthday party? We're so happy to have you join us. It's been such a long time since we've seen a new face. Lavender. What? I wonder what age Lavender is. Also nice, like, hollow eye sockets. Who are you people? We're your new friends. <laughs> I'm calling the police. Wait, I don't have my phone. Why is she acting like that for? Oh, it's okay, so it's a girl. Grim hasn't given her the lowdown yet, remember? Oh, good thing we have balloons. Everyone loves balloons. Balloons are pretty cool. Where are my balloons? crap everyone shoo oh grim must we no parties are to be thrown until the newbie is initiated grim is a uh a blob with a skull mask and no party is to be thrown without me especially with my balloons they stole grim's balloons Ugh. come on now everyone out there will be cake later i'm sorry if they scared you they're a bit overwhelming what is happening? Right. I'll just be straight about it. You're dead. Huh? You're dead. No, I heard you, but... Why are you here? Well, unfortunately, your spirit isn't strong enough to move on. Here at Grim's Hollow, spirits such as yourself help deliver ghosts to become stronger. Ghosts? People whose spirit is too strong, making them frenzied and unwilling to go. We reap those, and, uh, that's a topic for another time. For now, you need rest. There are fresh robes for you on the bedside cabinet. The local baker has also been kind enough to give you some donuts and cookies, free of charge. Unfortunately, we don't have milk. Wait, do you know where my brother is? Timmy? Sorry, little one. I don't know, uh, Timmy. But if I meet a Timmy, I will tell you. Have a good rest. I can't stay here. This may be some sort of weird cult. <laughs> I should put on the robes so I can blend in and escape. True. Are we wearing them already? Oh, look at us. We look adorable. We took our fresh robes and a reaper mask. Also took two death-alicious donuts and three spooky cookies. Cool. It's locked. <sighs> of course. Psst. Hey. Is that Navi? I can help you. I saw Timmy in a cave. Cave? Yes, it's where the reapers go to reap. Oh God, don't worry. He was safe the last time I saw him. Where can I find him? Which way? Just go left to the exit out of town, then head into the first cave you see. You'll find him in there. But do me a favor and don't tell anyone I was here, yeah? You know, these reapers, they're kind of nuts. I unlocked the door for you. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, uh, black space question mark? Run it back, baby. So this is the cave where Timmy's supposed to be, right? Timmy, are you in here? Ah, wow, what a fresh face. You must be the newbie. Uh, yes, I am. Can you help me? If you're looking for another reaper in here, you'll need a scythe. Here, take mine. Uh, thanks, but why? Oh, heads up. <laughs> that was quick. That's a ghost. Unlike us, it has way too much spirit energy. We need to reap that energy right out of it. Wait, what? Why? It can't pass on otherwise, poor thing. All that energy's tormenting it. Now, pay attention. And start swinging to start your reaping. 11 damage, cool. <laughs> and we're tired. Oh, okay. Anyways, I shouldn't hold you up. Go find your Timmy. I'm sure he's missing you. If you ever need any extra help, I'll be around. And don't worry about dying. We're already dead. <laughs> Right. Thanks, buddy. Please note that ghost caves sometimes have ghost walls. These are illusionary walls which hide secret entrances. 
You can make them disappear by facing a wall and pressing Z. Try not to get lost. Grim. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Oh, okay. Where'd you go? Ah, a guide. A guide for the spirit. Wait, let me access you. Great. Lavender, is that you? Timmy! Lavender, hold on. I'm coming to get you. <gasps> oh, no, you're not. Do you remember me? We not too long ago at the inn. Well, I wouldn't think you'd care. You just reaped a dozen ghosts like me. Uh, thanks for your help, but I'd like to collect my brother. Collect? That's a nice word for reap. Oh, uh, no. I should never have helped you. You're just like the other reapers. I just want to take my brother and go home. Let me through. No, you've done enough harm. You're not reaping him. If it's the last thing I do. Ah, Perry. It was Perry all along. The Perrys and the Jerrys. Oh my goodness. Nice. That was pretty easy. Dar she blows, baby. Timmy, are you still there? Oh my god, Lavender, what's wrong with your eyes? Or what's with your eyes? Oh. Timmy died with us. It must have been an accident. We must have both died at the same time. Lavender, are you okay? You can't be a ghost, Timmy. Lavender. Bro, we just started the game. I'm not ready for this. Why are you crying, Lala? Tim? Yeah? Hide inside my pocket. And whatever you do, do not come out until I say so. Stay invisible. Otherwise, I don't know if I can protect you. Is that clear? Okay. There you are! Where were you? I was worried sick! Figuratively speaking, that is. I can't be sick. Uh, I went for a walk. Wanted to stretch my legs. I see. Well, now that you're up, I may as well invite you for tea. I don't suppose you mind walking a bit further. Donuts are to die for, aren't they? Mr. Grimm, I've got a question. No need for formality. You can call me Grimm. Ask away. Can a ghost or reaper ever live again? No. Unless... Unless they had a soul. I don't understand. Don't we have souls? Uh, no, I'm afraid you're all just spirits. There's a difference. When you die, your soul disintegrates because you don't need it anymore. All that's left is a spirit, which makes you either a ghost or a reaper. But every now and then, there are beings who arrive here with a soul completely intact. Normally, when this happens, I redirect them back to life. This is a rare occurrence, however. Anyways, more oolong tea? Uh, sure. Got oolong tea. It smells nice. Wait, we're going to carry that with us? Do you have any more questions? How did I die? I don't know that, I'm afraid. I don't see anything which happens on Earth. What happens after I pass on? My guess is as good as yours. I have never seen the afterlife. Only delivered spirits to it. I feel rather concerned. Does he know? What are you trying to say? Uh, simply whether you're all right, Lavender. I care about all of my reapers, yourself included. I'm... All right. Really. Very well. Baker, you didn't need to sneak into my closet for ingredients, you know. But you look busy, and I was running out of flour. How would you like teaching Lavender to reap? I mean, I would like to help, but you know I don't fight, Grim. You'd be better off asking someone else. You won't have to fight anyone. What if they faint? You're the fastest person in the hollow next to me. You can run out of there carrying them. Well, okay. Excellent. Lavender, whenever you're ready, talk to the baker at the bakery. I'm going to go put away the ingredients. See you later, Lavender. I love their little baking hat. Thanks for the tea, buddy. Pocket Timmy. Psst, sis, I need to talk to you. You peek down into your hoodie pocket. What that guy said about having a soul. I had one too. But Timmy, everyone used to have that. No, but I had one when I arrived. What? I remember waking up in a cave, and when I looked down, I looked like a person. Like I used to. 
and everything was kind of glowy, like a greenish glow. But then other ghosts came into the cave, and they were scary, and they started chasing me, so I started running. Then I blacked out. When I woke up again, I felt light, and I couldn't see myself. I think my soul is still here, Lavender. Somehow, I can feel it. Maybe that ghost took it. I believe you. I'll try and find it. Thanks, sis. Now shush. I need to go. I'll look crazy if I'm caught talking to my pocket. You look crazy anyway. You stick out your tongue and immediately close your pocket. Okay, so we're going to the second cave. That's the one on top of the hill. Let's get going. The baker has joined you. Who are you then? Who's that? That's Substitute Baker. They don't know how to bake. My sub just takes care of my profits when I'm away and most importantly, protects my buns. <laughs> of course. Right, Lavender. I'm going to teach you how to reap a ghost. <laughs> or you could just do that. Is that it? Well, no. If you close your eye sockets, then you can use the SE you reap to become... I've closed my eyes. I think I'm doing it. I don't think there's much else for you to teach me, Baker. Once he's gone, Timmy and I can find the soul together. Slow down, newbie. I'm not leaving you until we... Well, you clear this cave. Every newbie does it. Besides, I need to take care of you if you faint. Oh, and on top of that, there's something I want to show you. Hmm? What is it? I can't tell you. It's a surprise. Lead the way, Lavender. Hey, Lavender. This looks like a good spot to take a break. Are you saying that because you're tired? Uh, no, not at all. Baker gets winded easily. So? So? Can I ask you something, Lavender? You just did, but go ahead. What's that spiral on your cheek? Good question, actually. Oh, the cheek mark. Well, it runs in the family. Everyone has these cheek marks. I sort of wished I didn't have them when I was alive. Why? Uh, well, it doesn't matter now, but it caused a lot of problems when I was a kid. Like, once in primary school, my teacher asked why I drew on my face with a marker. I tried to explain, but they got a wet towel and tried to wipe it off. I mean, it was kind of funny. That wasn't too bad. But from middle school onwards, well, there's no need to talk about that. I understand. Well, I like it. In my primary school, if anyone was found drawing on themselves, the teacher would punish them severely. Punish how? With their hands. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeesh, what kind of school is that? A regular primary school, when I was alive. That's sad. Oh, Baker must be old. It's okay, it's long past. Honestly, everything about my life seems so long ago. It almost makes me want to cry thinking about it. But then newbies like you appear and tell me about what life is like now. It sounds much better. Baker, can I see your face? What? Please, I haven't seen any, another person in ages. No, 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 you really don't want to see my face. Okay, you haven't been here that long. It's been like one day. Why not? I don't look that good. <sighs> Baker, come on. Do you really think that after that talk we just had, I'd think any different of you? Uh, no, but please. Okay, thanks. But I warned you. You're actually bred? Oh, <laughs> oops. Forgot about that. There. How does it look? I... Bad, huh? The longer we stay here in the hollow of his reapers, the more our faces become contorted until we lose parts altogether. And it's always the eyes which go first, no matter what. The eyes? Look in the water, Lavender. You peer down at your reflection. Empty sockets stare back at you. Grim made the masks because many of us became heavily disturbed when we looked into the faces of others. When we saw our own reflections, we recoiled. We felt uncomfortable with ourselves, with each other. So these masks are a relief. We don't have to look at each other and be reminded. We don't like our faces, Lavender. No one likes to feel inhuman. Grim isn't much of an artist, though. He can't draw anything besides from skulls. Maybe we could use you as reference one day. You know, because most of your face is intact. I freaked you out. Here, I'll just put the mask back on. Wait, what? Oh, no, I accidentally skipped the dialogue. Of course I was shocked, Baker. But I don't think you should hide your face in a mask. 
It doesn't matter to me how you look, and I don't think it should for others either. So keep your mask off. Mask off. All right. Uh, do I need to fight these things? I really don't think I need to, honestly. We can kind of just avoid them, I think. Baker. Yeah? What was it like when you were being initiated? Being taught how to reap and stuff? <laughs> Nowhere near as well as yours is going right now. I couldn't even swing my scythe. It was embarrassing and painful. Painful? I missed home, Lavender. I couldn't think of anything else. Just the smell of it. On the, the bread rising, wafting from the oven. I miss home too. Hey, I didn't mean to make you sad. Want a baguette? <laughs> uh, we're good. <laughs> Thanks, Baker. You take a baguette from the Baker's not face. No problem. Looks like we're here. What is that thing in the distance? This is it. Whoa. Is that a tower? Of course there's a giant ominous tower in the distance. Grim takes everyone here. It's my favorite spot. That little cave there is called the Gate of Passing. It's where the ghosts go after you reap them. When you're strong enough, that's where you'll go too. I've seen other reapers go there before me. Through that black cave underneath the light. I've seen living souls go there too. Grim told me they set, get sent back to life. What were those souls like? Not like a ghost, not like a reaper. They were green and glowy, unlike anything else. There's one. Huh? What is that? Something's fumbling in your pocket. You look down. Lavender, that's it. That's the ghost who took my soul. If that's true, then I'm not letting it go. Soul Keeper. I wonder I wonder what Baker's thinking right now, though. Baker's probably like, why did you just kill that one ghost that was that had the, the soul? Oh, there it is. Oh, is Baker gonna claim it and try and leave? And go back to life? Finally. With this soul, Timmy can live again. Oh, yep, there it is. All I have to do is show Grim. I'm going to miss you when you go home, Timmy. Oh! No, Baker. We were getting along so well. Lady? Hello? Hey, wake up. Lady. The Baker is gone. The soul is gone too. Timmy? There's a slight movement in your hoodie's pocket. You're still here. It's a good thing I found you. Gosh, don't do that again. It's rash for a newbie to go out. By themselves. Where's the baker? Huh? I saw him rushing towards the third cave. You know, the path to that gate over there. I haven't the slightest clue why. You couldn't fight for his life. If he had one. <laughs> Where are you going? I need you to find Grim as fast as possible. When you do, tell him that the baker's gone missing with a soul. Tell him to go towards the gate of passing and guard it. Ah. Um. Okay. I can do that. Thank you. T. Death Cavern. Good to know it's called Death Cavern, huh? All right. And it's glowing red. Good to know. There's a ghost on the bridge that we have to fight. Wait, Timmy. Hey, Lala. What's that spark on its head? Don't know. Doesn't matter. If you say so. Uh, I don't know about that. I feel like that's actually important. Miss one? Detonate? Detonate? Excuse me. The ghost faded away. 35 spirit energy released. And there goes the bridge. Uh, how are we supposed to cross now? Relax, Lala. Relax. Your life is on the line. I know that. Oh, I'm sorry, Timmy. It's okay. But, um, what if I don't get it back? Can we at least spend our time together happily? Aw, that's so cute. Seriously, I can't handle this edgy atmosphere. <laughs> With the scythe and all, relatable. I'll get your soul back. And I'll chill out a bit for you. Now let's go find another way around. All right, gonna go around you. Oh, what's going on here? Cutscene? Oh, it is. What is this? I can see a path below, but how am I supposed to get there? There's no way I can handle that many ghosts at once. Let's just wait a couple of minutes and they'll then they'll be gone. They're moving out, see? 
And if they're not gone, we'll find a way. Besides, it'd be good for you to rest a minute. You look exhausted. Uh, do I? Sorry. Cutscene. Do you remember dad? Hmm? Ooh. Dad. I've been thinking about him recently. Ever since we came here. Look at Timmy. I remember we had a dad, but my memory's kind of foggy. He was nice. Smiled a lot. You were too young. Don't say that like it's my fault. No, it isn't. Having you around made things a lot more bearable. I really loved dad. I loved... Love mom too. But towards the end, they used to fight a lot. About money. He got stressed really easily. He already had bad health conditions, but the arguments made it worse. And then eventually, it got fatal. Fatal? As in, deathly. They had already stopped fighting at that point, but he passed away anyway. We should have been together when he did, but Mom withdrew into herself. I think at the time, I sort of blamed her in a way for the fights and then withdrawing, even though I knew it was unfair of me to do so. After all, some of the fights were on Dad too, right? I don't know. To be honest, I think the thing I hate the most about seeing parents argue is that you feel like you have to take a side. I'm glad that at least you don't have to experience that to me. Things got hard for a while. Mom didn't do the chores. Then we needed money because our insurance... Wait, I forgot. You don't know what that is. Never mind. Anyways, Mom wasn't home a lot, so I learned to do a lot of things by myself. Groceries, dishes, laundry... I had to search a lot of it up. I was alone a lot. Or I would have been. You were home. You were young and confused. So you, you didn't really understand what was going on. You were unaffected. When I was done, finished my homework, finished my chores, I played with you. You were the only normal thing. Then mom finally managed to stay home a bit once things settled down. And you made her smile a lot. But things were left unsaid between us. We weren't as close as what we used to be. Why did you tell me all of that? I don't know. I wanted to tell someone. I never got a chance to. Ah, a path's cleared. I think we can cross now. Let's hurry. Are you sure you'll be fine? What? Don't worry about me, Timmy. I'd be much more worried about yourself. Let's get going. Lore! We just got some lore! So now we know a little bit more about... about Lavender and Timmy's home situation before the afterlife, or before the in-between life. Basically, she had a good relation... they had a good relationship with Dad, and then Dad passed away, and Mom withdrew, so then Lavender had to become independent and kind of, like, run the family for them. And then Mom came back and was like, okay, I'm back here now, and then Lavender and Timmy went... Kh. But I wonder how... We still haven't found out how they died. This is the gate. But where's Baker? It's a dead end. Well, unless you count that giant ominous hole in the wall. But I don't think either of us want to pass on. Grabs popcorn again. This is the passing on place, right? Shouldn't he be here? Yeah, that's what the Reaper told us. Do you think I took a wrong turn somewhere? Did Grim set the... <gasps> Shh, someone's coming. Get in my pocket. <sighs> Sips tea. Sips oolong tea. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh. -hoo. Who are you? Are you Baker? No. That's odd. Because you sound exactly like him. <laughs> I don't want any trouble. Just let me through, please. Not until you tell me who you are. I'm a hard-working reaper. I've spent years collecting spirit energy so I can pass on. The last time I checked, reapers don't glow. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Baker, I can literally see the soul glowing out of your eye holes. Give it up. Give what up? You- ugh, Look, if you don't take off your mask, then I'll take it off by force. Huh? Okay. Okay, this soul doesn't belong to me. But it doesn't belong to you either. Huh? This soul belonged to a ghost. Until you reaped them. You murdered that ghost. I don't see why you should get a second chance at life. Uh, no. That's not why I want the soul. Huh? Timmy? 
Mr. Baker, that soul belongs to me. Please give it back. What in bread? A talking ghost? He's my brother. He lost his soul when he came here. I found him and tried to get his soul back so he could go home. But then you misunderstood and knocked me out. So it really does run in the family. What? Your cheek marks. So you believe me? You'll give it back? Of course I do. Hold on, I just need to take it out. Hmm. A very sharp turn of, uh, of feelings very quickly. It's stuck. Try harder. It's not working. I think you need to come over and help me. Is, is it? Oh, no. Baker's going to, like, push us out of the way or something, right? Fine. Timmy, stay back. Just put your hand under there. Okay. You put your hand under the mask, but... I knew it! You think I'd fall that for that twice? It was worth a try. You really did a number on my mask, huh? Guess I don't need it anymore. He discards it. I'm not giving up this life, Lavender. I want to go home. So does he. I don't really care about your brother. But you should know that if you're going to try and take the soul off me, well, let's just say I've been here a lot longer than you. I've used all that energy from the bakery to complete my spirit, Lavender. I can wipe you out in one blow. Just step aside and let me through. I'm not moving. When is Grim coming? Then I suppose I have no choice. I really didn't want to fight you, Lavender. Here we go. Oh, he looks really ominous. Oh, I hit that. No, it just killed us. No, I... I won't let you. Lavender. Please stop. Wake up. Please wake up. Hi. Grim, you're here. Quick, you, you gotta do something. The baker, he was just... He was just... He is gone. Yes, I received your message. But if it isn't too much to ask of you in your current state, would you mind explaining to me what has happened in your own words? You explained to him that you were traveling in the cave with him until the both of you had stumbled upon a ghost with a soul. He stole the soul, trying to go back to his life, but you had chased him down for it. You fought, but he... He went back to life. But you can bring him back, right? You can just go through there and take him back. Or you could just talk to, I don't know, God or something and ask them nicely to bring him back. I've already mentioned this to you. I cannot do either of those things. I cannot pass the barrier to the true afterlife, nor can I contact anyone there. What can you do? Nothing. Nothing? Not a thing. No, no, that can't be right. Lavender, I'm sorry to interrupt you. But what happened really? Why the sorrow? Were you hoping for a chance at life, too? No, I mean, yes. Lavender, you've been lying to me since you came here. You lied to me about the walk. You lied to me when you said you were okay. Please, confide in me. I don't have the energy to keep secrets anymore. The truth, the truth is that soul belonged to my brother. Timmy, you can come out now. Are you sure? I'm sure. Hello, Mr. Grimm. Please don't hurt me. That won't be necessary to me. For now. What do you mean for now? It stands to reason that since Timmy has only lost his soul recently, he is only an early ghost. That explains why he isn't hostile like other ghosts. Until your brother starts to show signs that he is transforming into a hostile ghost, we can keep him around, whilst I look for a solution. Uh, la la. Signs? Well, it begins small. La la. Typically, there's a slight change in their appearance. Lavender! What is it? That only gradually gets worse. Put me in your pocket. Until finally, there's an absolute flip in their personality. Why? You just came out. Please, Lavender. I'm not feeling too good. 
Why are you both whispering? What is the matter? Oh, nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Really? Grim, what's happening? It seems that the time is much sooner than I thought. Lavender, I hate to say it. Ah. But if you want the best for your brother, we should reap him soon. Are you kidding me? No! Listen to me. If we let your brother fully transform, the both of you will suffer immensely. It is better to end it now than let the situation get worse. No, I can't let you do that. That's the one thing I've been trying to prevent. There is no other way. You, you don't know that? I've given you your options, Lavender. I do not want to take him by force. Really? That's a shame. Because I'm not moving. And I'm not saying goodbye. You are letting your emotions control you. If you do not say goodbye to him now, you will regret this. Come on, Timmy. Get behind me. So be it. We have one heart. Oh my. Oh, well. No, I, I won't give up. I can't let myself faint. Wow. Uh, uh, where are you? Help. <laughs> you are still awake. Lavender. <laughs> Lavender. <laughs> Lavender, stop! You cannot pass on yet. Your spirit isn't strong enough. I want to go home. Grim. We hired a new substitute baker. When others inquired about what happened to the previous baker, I said he passed on. It is rare for me to be put in such a situation where I feel shame. A sense of wrongdoing. But it is there whenever I think about the chaotic situation that happened that day. I am frightened that if I tell the truth, then others will try something similar. Knowing that one managed to do so. The only trust I feel is for one reaper she has disappeared from the hollow. Instead, she has seemed to make the caves her new homes. Try as I might to bring her here. All she does is reap, 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 one after the other, tirelessly. Every now and then, another reaper sees her and becomes startled. They get frightened. I gave her an option to wear a mask. She declined. Declined by ignoring my presence. She does not speak anymore. But sometimes, even her relentless drive fails her, and she passes out. No one is bothered to help her out, or wake her up. They find her scary. So I teleport her to the hollow, and tuck her in. I leave her cookies, and milk. I know it doesn't compensate for what I've done. I do not expect her to forgive me. But when I come back, she's gone again. So are the cookies. Sometimes... Sometimes she just sits in front of the gates of passing, as if waiting, or remembering. If only I could. No, it's too late. Not even I can bring back the dead. The only thing I can do is live with my mistakes. Dang! Talk about a bad ending. Woo-wee! Ooh, that's not good. That's a no bueno. So unfortunately, we got the worst ending. That was cool though. I did enjoy the game. Positives, cute story. I like the visuals. I think the combat can be improved. I like that there are several endings. That's really cool. We got the worst ending, unfortunately. But you know, you play games, you get the bad ending sometimes, you know? Sorry if you were disappointed about that, but I hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope to see you again very soon. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.